All right, welcome back. Another video, another challenge video today. And that is going to be the scent versus no scent challenge. This was actually suggested in the first slab sauce versus G sauce challenge in the comments section. By the way, if you have a suggestion for a challenge video of any kind, doesn't even need to be a scent or no scent or have anything to do with these. If you have a challenge video suggestion, post it in the comments section below. Okay, so the challenge was scent versus no scent. Now I think I did, I did one video of this last year, maybe two. Um, so this time I'm actually gonna be using a three inch Charlie Brewer crappie slider. And this is the, uh, the minnow style swim bait. And then I'm going to, be, going to be using the slab sauce. So here's how it's gonna work. I have two of the exact same baits right here. These paddle tail minnows. I'm gonna be tying them onto a one 16th ounce jig head. One is going to have no scent. The other is gonna be loaded up with slab sauce. I'm only gonna do one, at, one rod at a time though. Um, so this is going to be like a 10 minute challenge, the same way I did the slab sauce versus G sauce. First 10 minutes, I'm going to go with no scent apps at all. Second 10 minutes, I'm going to go with slab sauce and then we'll find out the winner. All right, let's get to it. Started off with the no scent on this Charlie Brewer crappie slider. One sixteenth ounce jig head. Whoa. Got a buoy marked on some brush piles. These fish are kind of, they're kind of all over the place right now. So let's get 10 minutes on the clock. This is no scent. And we'll start in three, two, one, start fishing. Or get tangled around the rod, rod tip. Either way, there is a fish right off the bat. No scent, number one. It's just all about the number of catches. That's all that counts today. Number of fish, just like the slab sauce versus G sauce challenge. Man. Here, crappie, crappie. I need a crappie call on the boat. There's a fish. Oh, I don't know if that's a crop. Oh, so I hooked him funny. You got hooked funny. I still got him in the mouth. He just got wrapped. See, still got him in the mouth. So it still counts. Number two, no scent. Jeez, they're inhaling these baits. They must be hungry today. What we got here? Oh, we got four minutes and four, 30, 36, four seconds, 34 seconds. Oh. There's one. Fish number three. Fish number three on the no scent. Right now, two minutes left. We're at the two minute mark. Three fish in the boat, looking for number four. There's number four. Number four on the no scent. What do we got for time here? F 48 seconds left, 48 seconds, four fish. Let's get this guy off and get one more cast in. Gotta give it a fair shake here. Like there's fish right below the boat. And that's game. I had one right here, but oh well. I didn't, I, he didn't have it on, he just bit it. As you can see, he bit the tail and pulled it down a little bit. All right, four fish for the no scent. Let's put the slab sauce on and put 10 minutes on the clock. All right, here we go, let's load this crappie slider up with some slab sauce. Two squirts should do the trick. Four fish to beat. That's what we gotta beat right now, four fish. This is, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, so virtually a midday bite. That's the, that's the whole point of these scent challenges. I think, I don't think these challenges would be too fair if I did it early in the morning or late at night. I mean, when you have a, a real uh, feeding frenzy or when these fish are really enticed to bite, okay, that's their normal feeding patterns, but 
definitely show the difference between either no scent or scent or which scents are better for which time of day. Oh, I just went over a big brush pile. Okay, 10 minutes on the clock, good. Starting in three, two, one, go. Oh, right there's one. Number one in the boat for the slab sauce. There he is. Oh. Oh, just a weird angle. Number two on the slab sauce. Tom, check. We're not even halfway through here. What about six, six minutes, 17 seconds left, something like that. Yeah. There's a fish. Number three for the sauce. Number three for the sauce. I'll do a time check in just a second here once I get this fish off. Where we go for time here? Just over halfway. Oh, there's another one. Well, they, they tied it. They tied it. If I can get this guy in the boat. Tie ball game, folks. Tied it up. Crabby number four for the sauce. One more for the win. There it is. There's number five. Number five for the sauce. Well, we got a winner, but we still got time left on the clock. Got 2.07. 2.07 left on the clock. Plenty of time to catch a couple more. Not with casts like that, though. That was a terrible cast. Key is to let it sink down to that. They're deep water right now. They're 15 to 18 feet. Key's just kind of let that bait sink down. I was doing that for the, the no scent one. It's just tough right now. There's a fish. Ooh, maybe, maybe a good one. It's a little bit better. It's number six for the slab sauce. All right, that took a lot longer to get that hook off than I thought. Got a minute. Minute 13, minute 13 left. Six so far, let's see if we can get seven. Just takes so long to get it down to that depth. Maybe I should be using a heavier jig. Maybe the next challenge I will be using a heavier jig. Go to a 1 8 ounce jig instead of a 1 16th. There's one, there's one. Number seven. Oh. Number seven for the sauce, clear winner. Time check, 34 seconds left. Well, that's, that's just not gonna work at all. That was, that was awful. Now what do we got for a time check? 22 seconds left, thanks to me. That was a user error, I'm pretty sure. That was user error, I'm pretty sure. I gotta get this reel off this rod. This is a jig reel. The bale's weight, the bale seed is way too close to the rod tip. My finger hits it every time. All these other right reels I have here, they're they're casting, they're meant to be casted. And the, the reel seed, act, the actual bale sits about at least a half inch further, if not more. <sighs> I don't even know why I have it on this rod. I really don't. Oh. Seven seconds. It's gonna have to happen right now. Six, five, four, three. Oh, there's a fish. Can we get him in the boat? I don't know if we count him. Doesn't matter really. Seven to four or eight to four. Clear winner. Slab sauce. Got it done today. All right, so there we go. 
slab sauce clear winner seven to four if you want to take a look at if you want to check out these uh charlie brewer crappie sliders little swim baits i'll post a link in the description of the video and if you want to check out the slab sauce from crappie.com i'll post a link in the video as well you can click on those and check them out appreciate you watching i like these challenge videos because they're uh kind of short and sweet easier for me to edit but if you have any suggestions for more challenge videos be sure to put them in the comment section i like reading them i like reading them for one and two it gives me ideas for for new challenge videos or just videos in general helps me out so please post them in the comment section if you have any video ideas or challenge video ideas be sure to like and share all these challenge videos and if you're not a subscriber below the video down here somewhere there's a red subscribe button click on that and then be sure to click that bell that bell notifies you every time i post a video you gotta click the bell to get notified when i post a video if that doesn't work for you you'll see my face at the end of the video holding the crappie and click on that to subscribe as well we'll see ya well that was we'll see ya that was just bad whatever we'll see ya